for certain tumors, yes. The answer is yes. Uh, there are, especially for low-grade mucinous adenocarcinoma, uh, neoplasms, pseudomyxoma peritoneal, if we are able to get a RC resection, we can get a disease when it's early on. We can, the data show that about 25-30% of the patients can actually be cured. And for other patients, we can extend the disease-free survival for more than 80% of the patients being alive without disease at five years. Uh, like I said, it will depend on the histology of the tumor. There are mucinous tumors like the goblet cell tumors that the numbers don't are not as strong as, as those other ones. But our, you know, there are there are three things that the high peg does. One, in a subset of patients, it can cure them. And another subset of patients can make them live longer without disease. And a third set of patients is a palliative option when nothing else is working and we just need to palliate their symptoms, their ascites, and do a debulking to just improve the quality of life knowing that we are not curing them, but that we are trying to, to extend their lifespan. Uh, so I, I would say, obviously, we don't have all the time to go in details right now, but uh, for different histologies, those survivals are different, those cure levels, there are other tumors that are at higher percentages. And obviously, I would say, Everything and even our own literature, our own data shows that the quality of the site to reduction is what really, really makes the big difference. And the high pay comment help us to maintain that success. You know, in terms of the uh, cytoreductive and um, high chem or heated chemotherapy in the chest, which is would be like the high tech, I guess, instead of the P putting the T for thoracic. Um, you know, we have like these two very different histologies. We see the mesothelioma, which is a very aggressive uh, tumor, and then the thymoma. So um, the numbers in mesothelioma also depend on the type of mesothelioma. So there are like three different types of meso, which are the epithelioid, the sarcomatoid, and the one in the middle, which is the biphasic. So people with epithelioid mesothelioma uh, particularly young patients, it is possible to cure them, but the numbers are, are low. Uh, and the way, the analogy that I learned from my mentors where I trained is that what we try to do is reset the clock. We are, you know, removing all this tumor basically with the idea that now you start from zero and if it comes back, you know, you still are gaining all these years and hopefully by the time it comes back, there is a new therapy like immunotherapy or something that they can give through the blood that is going to cure the cancer at that time. So that's what we try to, to you know, um, basically encourage our patients to do. Now, in terms of thymoma, that is a very slow growing tumor. So that's the beauty of doing these cases in thymoma, which I think that probably a, 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 a great majority of these uh, patients can be cured because they, it's going to take so long for this to come back that it is unlikely that they're gonna die from the disease once we debolt them. For for ovarian cancer, I, I will say you cannot overcome disease biology with surgery, right? So in the upfront setting, our intention is cured um, in the first line. So the patient is, you know, got diagnosed and we're either she's getting after new adjuvant or after or the initial surgery to be followed by surgery. Our, our intention is cured. HIPEC does not has not been shown to improve cure rates for ovarian cancer, but it has been shown to improve time to progression and overall survival in the new adjuvant setting. And then there's a plethora of retrospective studies that show that improves time to progression um, with um, um, in the recurrent setting. Uh, that being said, the opposite of the question is true, which uh, the opposite question is true like can you t can someone who is otherwise curable stop being curable if they don't undergo a proper operation for debulking and the answer for that is yes so surgery will not cure you but having an inappropriate or less than complete psi reduction or suboptimal significantly impairs your chance at cure uh, but no it, to answer the question directly, HIPEC does not in it by itself cure patients. It's the overall treatment um, between surgery, chemotherapy, heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, and then most importantly, molecular 
testing and targeted therapy afterwards. So we, we, with ovarian cancer and PARP inhibitors, we are seeing in a certain subset of patients with molecular alterations or uh, homologous recombination deficiency, those patients are more curable than ever before. But um, that's that's uh, there's no way to answer this in a shorter way. But the answer yeah. is.